Hi, this is Ella for MVM, and today I'm going to talk to you about this game, smartphoning. But I'm also going to talk to you about this game, Food Chain Magnet, because this is like this, like that. In this series, I will be recommending games based on your love of other games. I remember when I just started the hobby, I scoured the internet and asked my friends, say if I like viticulture, what other games would I like? And basically that's how my board gaming journey started. It was following a trail of games with the same mechanics I like, or themes that I wanted to explore, or new genres I discovered. And hopefully, through this episode, you'll get a little bit of help finding the new game you're really going to enjoy. Now let's talk about Food Chain Magnet first. Food Chain Magnet, or FCM, is a heavy strategy game where you play a CEO of a chain of fast food or diner-style restaurants in the 1950s. In this game, you're going to train and hire employees in your company, decide where you want to build restaurants, or do expansions by opening up drive-ins. You're also going to decide what you're going to sell Will it be burgers one day or pizzas the next? And you're going to create ad campaigns that will get those customers to your door. So thematically, Smartphone Inc. might be up your alley if you love Food Chain Magnet. Because in Smartphone Inc., you are the head of a multinational company that designs, develops, and sells smartphones. To be successful, you want to sell as much product as you can and dominate a region in the world in terms of retail outlet presence. You also want to be the most advanced in terms of tech because buyers are very picky. We want our GPS working or 4G available everywhere, or we move on to the next hot thing. Today's hot phone is tomorrow's trash, sadly. But as much as I love Food Chain Magnet, it's easily in my top 50, Smartphone Inc. does have an advantage in terms of playing time. Food Chain Magnet with four players can easily last up to four hours. On the other hand, I played a game of Smartphone Inc. with five players, and we did it in about an hour and a half. So if you're having that FCM itch, but not that FCM time, that Smartphone Inc. might be the answer. Now, while these two games are not exactly alike, like Grown Up Mary Kate and Ashley, or Ed Sheeran and the guy who plays Ron Weasley, there is a striking resemblance. Some mechanics in Smartphone Inc. remind me of Food Chain Magnet. In FCM, each round you set up your company structure, deciding which employee is going to be working or is going to be at the beach sipping pina coladas. And this is a key decision in the game because hiring the right employee means you're going to be able to feed the customers that are asking for burgers, or you're going to be able to do that marketing campaign that is going to send those customers or steal them from other restaurants. Something similar happens in Smartphone Inc., but you're not going to do it with these cards. You're going to do it with these pads. Each turn, you're going to manipulate these pads, put them on top of each other, or angle them in such a way that only certain symbols are showing. The truck icons let you expand into neighboring markets. Cogs let you research new tech. These crate symbols let you produce phones, and there are a ton of ways you can mix and match them each round. And both games are also about air control, not in a war game sense, but in a supply and demand sense. In Smartphone Inc., it's about expanding into the right region with the right tech, with the right product at the right price so that you can sell first. In Food Chain, it's about having the right restaurant at the right distance, at the right price so that customers go to you first. So I would say that Smartphone Inc. is Food Chain Magnet Lite. Yes, the term is a bit simplistic as Smartphone Inc. is its own unique experience. And also there is a depth to Food Chain Magnet that it can't touch. But if you want that sort of same feel for about half the playing time, then I think you'll really enjoy Smartphone. And that was an episode of Like This, Like That, where I talk about board game doppelgangers and try to help you in my own little way find that game you'll probably enjoy playing with your mates. If you have any questions about the games I discussed or want game suggestions, then please write them in the comments below. Please also subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And this is Ella for MVM. See you next time.